Peekaboo, peeka, peeka, peekaboo, peeka, peeka, possibly princess. Have you heard the story of the princess and the pea? It's a test to figure out if you have a real princess. Well, this isn't quite that story. This is the princess and the packet of frozen peas. Wow, we need to find out about this. This book was written by Tony Wilson, illustrated by Sue De Janeiro, and published by Peachtree Publishers. Here we go, friends. Once upon a time, there was a prince called Henrik who wanted very much to fall in love and get married. He was an outdoorsy type and hoped that the princess he married would like hockey and camping. There were many girls who wanted to marry a prince. Every time Henrik left the palace, groups of screaming girls would yell, oh my goodness, it's him, and throw flowers in his general direction. Henrik decided to ask his brother for advice. The important thing is to make sure she is a real princess, Prince Hans said. A real princess is very beautiful and very sensitive. When I met my wife, Princess Eva, I made a stack of 20 mattresses and 20 eater down quilts. Then I put a single pea under the bottom mattress. If a girl complains about feeling the pee through the mattresses and eater down quilts, she must be a real princess. Did Princess Eva complain? Prince Henrik asked. You bet, she complained a lot, Prince Hans said. Prince Henrik decided to watch Princess Eva to see what a real princess was like. He found her at the tennis court where she was being sensitive about tennis balls. These tennis balls are too bouncy. He followed her to the driveway and saw her being sensitive about her new sports car. This isn't the car I wanted. I wanted one with drink holders and yellow. Prince Henrik wondered whether perhaps Princess Eva was a little too sensitive. Prince Henrik decided he didn't want to marry a real princess like Princess Eva. He wanted to marry the exact opposite. She didn't have to be beautiful or sensitive. She just had to like hockey and camping and have a nice smile. And so Prince Henrik came up with a plan. Whenever a girl came to stay, he offered to make up the guest room. Instead of 20 mattresses, Henrik found one thin camping mattress. Instead of 20 eater down quilts, Henrik found one old sleeping bag. And instead of a single pea, the prince decided to use a whole packet of frozen peas. Many young girls visited, but none passed the test. You won't believe this. I found peas in my bed. I couldn't sleep at all. There was a massive lump under the mattress. What's the deal with the pocket of frozen peas? Then one morning, Henrik's old friend Pippa came to stay. They had a great day riding horses, playing hockey, and spying on Princess Eva as she complained about everything in the palace. If, she, if she's a real princess, Henrik joked, I 
want to marry the opposite. Henrik and Pippa laughed. For the first time, Prince Henrik noticed what a lovely smile his friend had. That night, he decided to test her with a packet of frozen peas. The following morning, Henrik sat in the corridor outside the guest room. He waited and waited and waited. Finally, Pippa emerged yawning. How did you sleep? asked Henrik. Fantastically well, thank you. Pippa handed him a packet of mushy peas. I found this under the mattress last night, she said. It was the perfect ice pack. I had a bit of a sore shin from playing hockey. The prince beamed. Pippa beamed back. She had a lovely gap between her two front teeth. Will you marry me? asked Prince Henrik. But I'm not a real princess, Pippa answered. Even better, said Henrik. You'll be a unreal princess. I think they might have lived happily ever after. What do you think? The princess and the packet of frozen peas. I miss you, friends. Mm.